Get down from there. Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? What? Get down from there, now. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Fine. Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. Who climbs better than me? I don't feel so good. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with All Mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. How am I supposed to kill the sheep? Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. 
You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. See you later, Karst. Good luck. It this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Huh? I mean, seriously? 
simultaneously record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... F Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Art. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <clears throat> an annunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king of Oz, 14th luminance of the radiant line I'm with my major advantages now. We should be in the Karja outside to loot our sacred no, beauty. The Karja stand with you. I'm not the best. Frame the stoutest tree. As those I'm you have nurtured take their places among your prayers. He's wearing a focus. We Just like mine. your prayers. But they will stand tall in the sun. I am grateful for your audience. To be taken into your embrace. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... 
I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. He got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. I might even give a Nora war-maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, He's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you, it's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. All mother. Hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Thank you. 
There's no one. I have some questions for him. Boss, boss, boss. What about Bala? She's strong. Hello, Owen. You? you know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Owen? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half-buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. When we spoke earlier... It didn't show me anything. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the Proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsider. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? 
This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? It's a grazer. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another.
slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Turn around and Who's in the lead? I can't see! Fox, the ball right behind you. Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! Survivor. Stay together. Oh no, there's more. They keep coming. How many are there? Just 
damage weapon. Watch on the ridge. There's more of them. Descend while we have a chance.
burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Patriarchs are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or the damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I should keep looking. Be on my way. I'm 
picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. And Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. There, with the rest of my things. Excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Complicated, please just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. about come what is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you 
Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, 
It must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister. For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was... very little left to recover. But what there was... we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there... Anything I can do to help. What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. ...or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called... ...tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the One Goddess, All Mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight... ...lies a vast, fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder All Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But... I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Then... This is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, 
Make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs... God is the outcast girl. We are your faithful So she survived her wound. Show us mercy. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Never know when I might need these. I should save my breath for the hymn. It's our only hope now. More rain. My boots will get damp. Help us find the uh, the outcast approaches. Aloy! Ignore her. Aloy! Continue the report. Tev? There are rumors All mother be praised. The embrace. Uh, You're alive. Dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Farland's followers. They tried to stop it. The demon was too fast. Too powerful. I'd have to leave something else behind. I'm so glad to know you're all right. Saving these for the trail? I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then... High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. 
Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But you deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. But the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them. Make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. I should be on my way, Teb. Be safe, Aloy. How could the Karja Faithless close the border while the corruption spreads? I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the proving. You saw Boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker. So open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
Sound the alarm! By the goddess, what you doing to them? Control of all those striders. How does it possess other machines? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? You killed that demon, pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out, but I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. I need to find a machine and see what this device can do.
motors. I can test the override device on them. Nice and quiet. kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. yourselves bring it closer closer varl i take it am i seeing things or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate uh i was it's hard to explain i imagine so Strange times we live in, we who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No, a traitor named Olin. 
The matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. No, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the Proving. How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends. If we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? <sighs> when word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. You know, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. She went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. May the Goddess protect. <laughs> 